there. So I'm with uh, Jonah Sullivan, who is the program coordinator coordinator of the MA and structured PhD in applied linguistics at Mary Immaculate College. And um, Joan, thanks for uh, uh, coming along uh, to, and agreeing to do the interview. Um, what um, would you say it, has your overall approach been uh, in response to the situation over the last year? Thanks a lot for the opportunity, Peter. Um, it's great to be able to, to be here and, and to talk about our programme. So um, the MA in Structured PhD in Applied Linguistics has actually been online since it started in 2015. So we, we very much had all our, our structures in place when the, um, when the pandemic hit. So that was, it, it was very positive that we didn't have to do a lot of adjusting. Um, so the online program is great as regards flexibility, especially for, for teachers. Um, and also another bonus of the, the online um, delivery is that we're able to have um, participants from all over the world. So we have a real international profile and this brings a lot of diversity to the programme. But while it is online, it's very much, it, it has a sort of in-person feel. As you know, Mary Immaculate College is well known for its, the way it looks after its students, I suppose. And we really carry that over into the online experience. So we try to make it um, both as interactive as possible and as supportive as possible um, with you know, peer group meetings. Um, I, as program coordinator, I'm always on hand to answer any questions and I'd have live meetings with the students. That's great. Um, and has the, the structure of the PhD um, changed and adapted uh, as a result of the experience we've had uh, over the last two years almost? Well, as I said, because we were, um, we were online from the outset, um, we haven't had to, to change it drastically. So I, I'll just show you a slide of, of the course structure. So um, we have, I'll talk about the MA first. So typically there's a three, there are three 12 week semesters. So semesters one and two each have four taught modules. And in semester three, then you write the 20,000 word dissertation. So the three semesters can be taken back to back in one calendar year. So you can complete starting in September, you could complete the following August and write your dissertation over the summer. But I know a lot of English language teachers especially can be very busy over the summer. It can be the busiest time. So the course also um, can be taken over one and a half years. So you can take an extra semester to complete the dissertation. And the good news is that the same fee applies. And we also have part-time options. So the program can be taken over two or three years. Um, for the structured PhD, then year one is exactly the same as the program for the MA. So the only difference is you don't do the dissertation. So if you do sign up for the MA and you decide you want to go on to PhD, you can actually apply to transfer from the MA to the structured PhD at the end of the first year without doing the dissertation, if that makes sense. Uh, and, and so I can do it, I could do it entirely from, um, from home, from where, where I'm based, from my, I don't need to take any leave or uh, be there for weekends or travel to Limerick. Uh, at all. Do I understand that right? Absolutely. And that, that's just one of the things I wanted to point out at why it is so suitable for, for um, teachers. It's online, it's flexible, so you don't need to give up your job, you don't need to move. Um, this e Even teachers that we've had who were based in Limerick found that, that option really useful that they were able to fit it around their, their working day. Now, some people do choose to cut back on their hours, but some of our students um, are also working full time. So we're very flexible. We're very much aware that people are busy. They have lives outside the program. So we build that into our, our course design. And I suppose we've done that on an ongoing basis since the program began. We, we, we listen to our participants and we adjust the, the program um, in line with that. Um, so it, it's, it's just a great opportunity for professional development. You have a chance to engage with cutting edge research in English language teaching. 
Um, just to show you some of the, the contributors for the programme, we have uh, Professor Mike McCarthy, who I'm sure you've, you've all heard of, Dr. Anne O'Keefe and Geraldine Mark, and they've all been involved in, in the publications that you can see on the screen. Um, also, Geraldine Mark and Anne O'Keefe were the main researchers for the English uh, Grammar Profile, um, which is a Cambridge University project, and it looks at how competencies um, in grammar develop over the, the CEPHER levels. So just going back to, to how, how we can help English language teachers, we also have um, an, issues in, an Issues in Applied Linguistics um, seminar series, which we open to the public. And for this year's um, series, we have a lot of um, webinars that are, that, are, that are very interesting for English language teachers. We have um, Scott Thornbury talking about uh, ELT dogme. Um, so basically using a conversation approach to, to teaching English. And um, we also have Professor Fiona Copeland, who's going to be talking about non-native English teachers and native English teachers collaboration. And also um, Elaine Reardon, who will be looking at um, collaborative reflective practice. We have um, lectures on translanguaging and also on teacher autonomy. So a lot there for teachers. Um, and we'd be making that, um, we'd be advertising that on Twitter and we'd be sending it to yourselves as well in the coming weeks. Are those online seminars, Joan? Yes, they're all online. Excellent. Yeah, no, there's, there's some great titles there and uh, uh, um, speakers that I think would definitely be, 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 be of interest to people. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so um, that gives us a really good picture of how uh, the, uh, the, the, the programme in uh, MIC uh, helps English language teachers and, you know, I know quite a few people who have been through it and have really uh, found it, um, opened their eyes to the, uh, the world of applied linguistics and research and applying that to their, their professional development. So um, it has been a mainstay of, uh, of um, the, uh, the kind of the English language teaching world in Ireland for quite a few years now. Um, and it's something that we've, we're really glad to see represented at the, uh, at the ELT Ireland conference as well. Uh, can you tell me, from your point of view, what, what does the involvement in, in, in the ELT Ireland conference uh, bring us, uh, from, to you? Yeah, just, just I have another slide there just to, to, to I suppose, to, to bring it home to people. So we've been involved with um, ELT Ireland for, for quite some time now. Um, you've always been very supportive of our program. Um, I know you encourage professional development and you, you've endorsed our, our programs over the years. Um, so we've also hosted ELT, EL, ELT Ed Talks um, twice in Mary Immaculate College. And that, that was great. It brought a great synergy. Um, it's great to have you know, practicing teachers um, contributing to the talks. Um, we also have um, one of our PhD, one of our former PhD students actually at this stage uh, was a founder member of ELT Ireland and generally it's just been been very, um, ELT Ireland has been very supportive of us over the years so we're really delighted um, to be able to to take part in the conference. We always think about it as a kind of an ecosystem you know you've got the different different uh, people involved, the schools, the teachers, the, uh, the publishers, and uh, the, the further, further and higher educational institutions uh, that it, it makes up the richness of the, the ELT world. Um, Absolutely. It, 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 it's a great synergy, as I said, and, and I think each part is essential to the experience as well. So you're, you're doing a great job there. Thanks a lot. We must uh, organise another EL TED now that we can start thinking about uh, uh, in-person events again. Uh, it's it's it, it's uh, every three years by the looks of that. Uh, um, okay. Uh, it's, you know, so it's, it's about you. It's about you. Uh, okay. Thanks very much, Joan, for that and uh, for giving us uh, an insight and an update into um, 
into what's happening uh, with uh, the uh, the MA in, in applied linguistics there there at MIC. Great, and it was great um, to talk to you. And just if anybody wants to contact me, I'll be happy to set set up a meeting to chat to them. The contact details are there. Yeah, so you have the, the link there for the uh, yeah. for the further information uh, on the, on the website too. Uh,